Bakit? Sila pa tao sa mundo. Bakit siya pa? Kung totoo ang Diyos, kung tunay na mabuti ang Diyos, bakit niya gagawin to? Good morning, class. Today, we're going to explore and reflect upon the greatness of God. It is a topic that often fills our heart with awe and wonder. And I hope that by the end of this lesson, you'll deepen your understanding on the greatness of the divine. Gawagawin naman ang tao ng Diyos. Anything to say, Mr. Bahala? Ano may ebidensya eh? Paano yung nasabi na ito ang Diyos? Parehang hangin. Hindi mo nakikita pero andyan na. There are things that science can explain. And God is one of those things. Anong hospital to? Wow! Wow! Para sa mga walang daw? Kung mababay ratings? Ito na ang hospital natin eh! Uy babe! Bandito ka pala! Ang ganda no? Hindi kasi ang ganda mo! Eh may tumigil ka nga! Ay! Ha! Ang ganda ang regalan ng Panginoon! The beauty of life! Beauty of life! Sa tingin mo saan ang galing niyan? Sa Panginoon, hindi science, but si God. Faith is all about trust and belief in something greater than ourselves. I think the fact na nabubuhay tayo is lahat ito ay gawa ng Diyos. Ay, Barbie! I'm sorry to tell you, but I have no choice but to administer another high dose of painkiller. You must understand that while this elevates the pain, there is a possibility of this having unintended consequences. At this point, even death. I'm sorry. Sa lahat ng nasabi ko nung una. Nakita ako kung gaano pagaling at kaalaga ang mga tao dito. Kahit kulang kayo sa facilities. So, salamat. Shem, why you don't try to pray? Dalawa lang yan, afterlife. Hell or heaven? Oh, wala. Oh, wala? May possibility pa rin yan. Heaven or hell? Bakit hindi mo itry? Wala na mawawala sa'yo eh. Ang gandito ba naman kuya? Hayaan mo muna ako magpahinga. Shem, sorry. Sensya na ha? Susubukan ko ba? Wala namang masama. Wala din naman ako ang Diyos na sinasamba. Let's try it once. Lord. Lord, di ko alam kung anong ipagdara sa sal ko. Please, Lord. Please, Lord. 
Pero please, I ask for forgiveness. Lord, please. Nagmamakaawa ako, Lord. Amen. Pucha, nasa langit ako. Buti na, may St. Peter tayo. Oo, wala tayong problema. Kuya, Chriselle. Heaven, hell, or purgatory. Look, ko to ah. Hindi nga tanggap. Oh? Shit, ano to? Nayat ako. Yes, it is possible to market a substandard hospital, but first, like we did in our video, we identified the problem, which is the lack of equipment, and then we highlighted the quality care that doctors have. It is possible to market a hospital by the use of religion. By emphasizing compassionate and attentive treatment, um, the hospital can still improve its um, image despite limitation of resources. Respect the patient beliefs and, auto and autonomy when discussing religion. Offer information on different perspectives, emphasizing their potential for comfort and guidance. Let the patient decide if they want to explore further, be honest and considerate throughout. It is possible to market religion to a dying patient, but the decision ultimately falls onto the patient themselves. You can encourage them to look at life, to reflect upon the life they've lived on. It is just a possibility, not a certainty. Shem rejected my offer to pray in God, but deep inside him, he was hesitant to try it. Which is, it is possible to market a religion to a dying person. So, considering Kant's philosophy, the key idea here is to respect the patient's beliefs while discussing the importance of life. The focus should be on encouraging the patient to reflect on their life and um, relationships. This approach um, respects the patient's freedom of choice, which aligns with um, Kant's principle. When considering Kant's philosophy in the context of discussing religion with the dying patient who lack of belief in God, it's crucial to uphold their autonomy in respect to beliefs. Avoid any attempts to persuade or manipulate them. Instead, gently offer information about the various religious viewpoints, emphasizing, emphasizing how they could offer solace or moral guidance during challenging moments. Let the patient take the lead in deciding if they wish to delve deeper into these sites. Always prioritize transpa transparency and show genuine re regard to their autonomy and peace. The double effect principle was present twice in the movie. And the first was the fact that Shem woke up late because he stayed up late at night helping out his classmates so that all of them could pass. Another factor is that administering a fatal dose of pain relief but there is the consequence or there is the possibility of death which in this case really did happen. The double effect was expressed when Shem was given by a pain reliever. For the third question that we chose, um, the double effect principle. In the context of the film, the principle is evident in the hospital's use of pain relievers. So the intention is um, to relieve the patient's pain, that is the good effect, even though there might be side effects, which will be the harmful effect. So this reflects the ethical dilemma and decision-making process in healthcare, um, considering both the positive and negative consequences in medical um, intervention. Totoo ba talaga? Kapag naginip lang ang lahat.